Hello and welcome to Distant Sky Rafting. Now normally at this time of year we'd be with you over on that wonderful island enjoying some music, spoken word and great company. Now obviously we can't do it this year yet. So we thought we'd bring a bit of Distant Sky Rafting to you. So sit back and get ready for some amazing music from Riva, from Neil Martin, to Alaska, some beautiful spoken word from Glenn Patterson. But first up, a performer whose music's not only heard here, but also on BBC Six Music, and she performed in front of a television audience of 60 million at Music City Roots, Belfast to Nashville. Here's Kira O'Neill with a song called La Lune. Don't close your eyes on a fight Make your peace, then turn out the light Don't fear the dark unknown La lune, la lune, what? Don't be scared, it'll turn out just fine. Even the worst days will rise with the tide. Don't you settle. La lune, la lune, vois tout. La lune, la lune, la lune, vois tout. Neil Martin is one of the most celebrated and foremost composers, musicians, arrangers and conductors in Ireland and we are very honoured to have him perform an ancient Irish air to which the poet Thomas Moore set his beautiful lyrics in the early 1800s. Based on the saga of the children of Lear, the words evoke the Sea of Moyle, that stretch of water around Rathen and across to Scotland. This is Neil Martin with Silent O'Moyle.
I mean, obviously we're really disappointed we couldn't make it to Ralphin this year, but we want to check in with our friends over there and see how they're doing. And there's Noel McCurdy. Noel, how are you doing? Very well, Joe. Tell me this, how's everybody over there? Like, what's the mood over in Ralphin at the minute? Oh, the mood's, the mood's fine. I mean, I know we've been in lockdown now for um, three, three months. Uh, we had no visitors at all uh, coming into the island, apart from the central services. But it was fine, you know, everybody was able to get their... All, all their necessary items, food and all that stuff in. Yeah. So uh, we were okay, weren't we? Mm. And how's everybody feeling? You've obviously no cases over there. Is everybody's, everybody's all right, though, health-wise, otherwise? Everybody's all right. There's very strict regime about the getting on the ferry and getting off the ferry. Sometimes people get a bit frustrated with that, but it had to be in place to, to, to keep, the, keep the virus out. So yeah. we're, we're very grateful for that. Good, good. And um, I, I hear the islands kind of change very much. The landscapes change with people not being there and tourists walking through. And I mean, does the island look very different at the minute? It does. Unbelievable. We were out uh, a couple of times um, for a walk, um, and it's just unbelievable. There's no 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 people on the roads, no buses or uh, anything. You're just a free run, mm. and it, you know it was great. But I know I know people have to have the tourists back in. That's how the people make their money, so that's just has to be. Yeah. But we really, we really appreciated that short break when we had nobody about. Mm. And you're starting to miss us all now, all the tourists coming over, are you? Oh, yes, we're missing you anyway, Joe. <laughs> you say all the right things, no. <laughs> well, we look, well, we, look, we, <laughs> we look forward to you coming over. You're nearly part of the furniture now. We look forward to seeing you come over. You do a good show when you come over. Well, you so, see... Uh, I I, I, I did ask Katrina over on the island, how long, it, how long do you have to live there to become an islander? And she said it was about two or three generations before you even call yourself an islander, so I don't know. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Some people have been living here for 70 years and they're not, not classed as locals. Wow, okay, wow. Um, so, I mean, when do you see yourselves being able to open up and have visitors back? We, to, we need the tourists coming into the island for, to generate income and we need young people coming into the island to uh, help sustain the population of the island. Without that, the island would, would, be, would be finished, you know? I know, I know. You have a lovely community over there, Noel. I mean, he's all kind of pulling together and helping each other out and all that. We, we do, yes, we do, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, we have to, it's a small community. Yeah. You know, so we, we, do, we do have to, to, to get on with one another. Is everybody keeping all right? I mean, it's, it's very tough times and stuff. Everyone keeping okay? Everybody's keeping fine now. I mean, obviously, I'm out and about on the mail and that. So you're, you're getting to see some people and everybody, you know, everybody you meet is quite relaxed about the situation, that their health is, is okay. Anybody that needs urgent medical attention, do get off the island. Do go to the hospital, Coleraine or wherever. I'm going to go and get the treatment, so yeah. that hasn't changed. Yeah. Well, Noel, I've got to say, we cannot wait to get back over and see you and bring some music over. Um, there, there's, a, there's a wee bush mills waiting on you there, Joe. Oh, don't. I haven't had one in weeks. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you get the first one, I'll get the second one. Right, that's a deal then, I'll remember that. All right, mate. Well, listen, Noel, do me a favour, and from us at Snowwater, send everybody in the island our love, will you? I will indeed, Joe. I'll do that. Yes, yes. Um, we're missing you. We wish we were coming over to see you. Yeah, we miss you too, Joe. Okay, take care, Joe. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Cheers. Thanks, Noel. Okay, bye-bye. 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 Distance Sky is a celebration of our landscape, its beauty, its wildness, how it inspires our musicians, our writers. And coming up next is one of our finest exports. Here's Glenn Patterson. In the early summer of 2018, I went down to the Titanic Quarter with my 12-year-old daughter for BBC Radio 6 Music's biggest weekend. I wish I could say the highlight of the day was public service broadcasting performing their White Star Liner EP-length suite on the slipways where the Titanic was built, but I missed them altogether. It was my daughter's first proper gig. After a handful of sets, Courtney Barnett, the Breeders, Manic Street Preachers, the Orioles, David Holmes, her interest was on the wane. 
We checked out for a while and went for a ride on the Ferris wheel. We had the entire thing to ourselves, so when we reached the apex, the operator down below hit pause. May have had a cup of tea for all I know, for we had all the time in the world it felt like to look about us. I could see, directly facing us, the line of the Belfast Hills, with Cave Hill jutting out like a ship's prow. I could see closer at hand between the hills, the city and right down the man-made Victoria Channel, as far as the mouth of Belfast Loch. I could see, looking back towards the city a little way, beyond the biggest weekend stage, the spot where ten years before I'd been persuaded to stand on a vast mound of rubble, apartments now, for a BBC documentary about the Titanic Quarter, while in the broadcast version it, and at my request, Woody Guthrie sang, This Land Is My Land. I could see, looking east, vast empty tracts of what had once been shipyard and was not yet whatever phase two or phase three of the Titanic quarter rollout had in mind for it to be. There was still work going on though, around the base of the enormous cranes. They reminded me of great beasts whose habitat was gradually shrinking. It wasn't clear where there was left for them to go. And then I saw the flames. They were coming from a castle on the opposite side of the cleared land from the cranes. A long line of people was making its way out of the back of the castle in a very calm and orderly fashion. These were extras and that was the set of the final series of Game of Thrones. I thought about taking out my phone, trying to get a panorama shot, and then I thought no, just take it in, commit it to memory. This is what this place is, May. 2018. My daughter suddenly shrieked with delight. Look down there. I looked. I shrieked too. We were right above the men's outdoor toilets. Multiple four-way urinals at which multiple men attempted to urinate while simultaneously drinking beer from plastic cups. And I thought, commit that to memory too, why not? Then the big wheels started turning again. And we got to the bottom and I said to my daughter, what do you think? Have you seen enough? And she said, yeah seen enough. And off we went, back up the road, past the gates of Harland and Wolfe, and home. Now, part of what we do at Distance Sky is to bring established artists with emerging stars. You might be familiar with Aoife Boyle, aka Riva, from gigging up around her hometown of Derry, here in Belfast, and her collaborations with the Ulster Orchestra. Here she is with You Said, Tell Me. Take this 
something that feels fake Give me an insight You said tell me Something that ain't real Something I don't want to feel In my mind In my mind And now for a song we debuted actually at last year's Distant Sky Rathen. Jerry Norman is not only frontman with a Plastic Rose who supported Snow Patrol both at Ward Park and Wembley Arena, but he works under a different moniker. So here is Tour Alaska with Remember June. Since I've fallen south With my devilish mind I think I've gone insane Empty in my brain I want to get inside Your mind To ask Do you remember June? Summer with you. Yeah, I remember June on the cover blue sky at night. Knocks me out. Yeah, it knocks me out. Lying on the grass, dreaming of the past, replaying each scene. An impossible dream As I slowly get inside Your mind Yeah, I remember June Midsummer with you Yeah, I remember June On the cover blue sky at night Knocks me out Yeah, it knocks me out Oh Now, like I said earlier on, unfortunately, we can't bring you to Rathen this time, but we will, very soon, we hope. So what better way to leave you than a performance from the Rathen Choir? We'll see you again soon under a distant sky.
cut of the dear days yet to be. If God and Mary change my lot and bring you.